Now this is quite amazing, um, but it could have been pretty creepy. I had made a video, I had the dog out, um, I went back in the house. I was waiting for that other video to process, looking out the back door, and something fell from the top of the door. So I look up, and this guy was um, at the top of the screen door. And I'm still thinking, we're both so lucky it didn't fall off of there into my hair. Um, how it got up there, um, there's a hole in the screen. It must have come through the screen and climbed up the door. This is a praying mantis. And I've seen them before. I don't think I've ever had one before. Now, I don't know if it's male or female. Um, one reference I just looked at said the males are brown. Look at this. It's amazing. It's moving its head to look at me, figure out what I am. Absolutely amazing. Now, I don't know where to put it. I looked up what they eat, um, arthropods, generally. They'll also eat, um, like small animals, which is something. I really don't know where to put it. Uh, so I looked up arthropods and the only one that seemed familiar are silverfish and which are little uh, scummy things that sometimes you see um, moving very quickly uh, they're like um, they're hard to describe they look like little flat silverfish but anyway I don't have a lot of those in the house the other surprising thing is that a uh, praying mantis is related to termites and cockroaches. So that's not good. Um, so in the garden, I have no idea where silverfish would be. And I don't want it back in the house. I have a couple of um, Norway spruces one in particular that all of a sudden lost its leaves, uh, its needles, and here's a hummingbird buzzing around, um, but I think that was carpenter ants that had attacked the tree from underneath. I'm thinking of maybe putting this on that tree just because I may lose the tree anyway. Um, so let's just put this down while I grab that tree. And then we'll see if I can get this guy out of the jar. So I'm going to pick up the jar and let this guy out onto this tree. Whoops, here's the tree. It's just a young one, um, but it was beautiful a couple of days ago. And this is the damage I'm looking at. I have several pots that look like that. I've moved all the trees that show any sign of that. But when I picked this particular pot up, um, and maybe the tree will recover, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on these little, um, looks like they've died. Um, anyway, there were carpenter ants all through it, and ants had killed my big pine. So, another insect I'll have to look into. Look at that. Just amazing amazing and like I said amazing it did not end up in my hair so then you would have heard screaming 
I have to open this up. The outlet's getting its legs harmed. Go that way. Go that way and turn around. Kind of like that. My goal. It's about five inches long. <laughs> 